I don't know whether relief is the word. I think at pride, really. I think at 21 days of international cricket is never been done. I mean, our grounds team, you know, nobody's ever, ever in the world prepared three test pitches back to back. It's never been done. So I think when you look at it like that, is it is very much a, a sense of pride. I think, but actually, all of the guys here they love Lancashire cricket. So actually, it's. Um, we're delighted to get our home team back for the first time this season, but there'll never be another year like 2020. Well, I hope not anyway. Well, that's the key thing, isn't it? You hope the, you'll have this place full again next summer, but I suppose that's the big unknown, isn't it? It is. We've got a Roses game here tonight, and they're always amazing, and I think, you know... Normally quite noisy, aren't they? Yes, they are, and, and I think we've won the last four in a row, so which is great. We've got to keep that record going, but it's uh, it will be different without the fans, and I think, you know the sport as all sports do we need fans back it's not just cricket of course as well because you, you have a reputation now for concerts the points indoor conference facility you've lost all that revenue too yes it's really challenging people often think we're just quite often just we think we're just about sport but actually our internal events business is massive you know i think this year would have been very very challenging but i think a combination of doing the behind closed doors cricket, great support from our bankers, Metro and use of the furlough scheme has enabled us to cope and get through. I think without those three things, it could have been again a very, very, very tough year and potentially, you know, we might not have survived it. So how important is it that you have the crowds back for 2021? I think there's a national conversation in the hospitality and event sector, certainly. When you go to a shopping centre or a large pub or restaurant or a beach or a park, that's unregulated social gathering and it's very, very difficult to manage that. I think in these kind of environments, it's much better and I think we need to work with government and they need to trust us to be able to say, Do you know what, we can get people in and we can get them in safely and out safely. Daniel, thanks for talking to us. My pleasure.